wanted to do a quick little video to show off my uh, slime chunk farm. There's nothing particularly special about it. I just wanted to kind of show everybody basically the how this thing works and what it does. Um, starting from the wrong end, but basically this is where the slime balls are going to come out of. So with the water stream, they end up falling down actually just right in that little gap right there and then land on that hopper. Now there's a uh, a uh, comparator here that shows if anything's in the hopper and it'll just send a signal to this uh, rope block. So if anything comes through and drops down, you'll hear it go ding. That way it'll just know if there's anything you know, going on here. Um, I think I have no blocks on it so you can hear that. Yeah, the outer is pretty low. There we go. Hopefully that sounds okay. And in a second now we should see something coming up because usually there's a ton of slimes will spawn down in there. Oh, there we go. So yeah, the slime balls come up and they just fall down. It's a pretty simple pickup system. But I kind of started building the manor house here. Um, and then I found the slime chunk below it and I didn't want to have some elaborate storage system or anything like that. I wanted it to be simple and straightforward. So I built this on its reasonably unobtrusive um, and then the slime balls just come in here and uh, I just keep them crafted up just so they don't get clogged up in there and um, this thing has been running for a couple weeks now and it has not yet had any problems at all with the mine carts and it's been amazingly reliable so there's like 10 in there now, we'll check back in a minute. But basically, the slime chunk is basically, I think somewhere right about here, um, below us. And check down to the bottom here. Alrighty. And so here is the slime town. I was hoping to see some slimes in here. Um, but basically, this platform here is at Y level 38, I believe it's 38 or 39. Let's see. Uh, we're looking at Y level 38. So this platform, there's seven platforms. They're gap three apart. Um, the jack lanterns here keep the light levels. The lowest spot is right here, actually, with the light level of eight. So nothing can spawn on here except for the slimes. And um, it's pretty efficient. Um, there's a lot of guys spawning down here. Oops, I might have underclicked. It's okay. So anyway, once they spawn, they'll walk off the platforms pretty quickly usually. And then they run in here. And this is a 4x4 four four of magma blocks, which when they fall in, it just uh, damages them. So they bring in nice little piles of slime balls for us. And then the minecart system down here, it just travels back and forth until it picks something up and then it'll pause right here. There's a comparator on this uh, hopper down here that'll turn this off, so it'll break it and then it'll unload. And then once it's unloaded, it dispenses the items. I'm over here and built a pretty standard glass item elevator. I didn't bother making it glass, it was solid rock all the way through so it worked fine without wasting a lot of materials. And I didn't want it to be that intrusive, like I said. So, I was kind of hoping that we could see some of these guys spawn. Let's see how this thing works first time. Maybe move away a little bit here for a second. So, yeah, the, oh, the bottom level is at level 11. I didn't go lower than that because you start hitting bedrock and I needed a few blocks down in order to uh, place the redstone for the item elevator. Also, um, I had considered... Let me move down here for a second and see if we can get some slimes to spawn. Um, I had considered down there actually moving the water and then putting a iron golem in to attract the guys to the center. So I haven't really done that yet. That would give you one more basically full spawn floor down there to work with. Um, but this thing is so efficient I really didn't need it. Um, I may at some point in the future just do that just to try it out, see if it works. Of course, the one time I'm not going to show it off, I don't get any guys spawning right there. 
don't know where I will though. But yeah, there's off times I'll jump down there and I'll see two, three, four of the big guys, the big slime have spawned down there. And uh, like I said, they'll, they'll hop around on the platforms, but they usually clear the platforms within 20, 30 seconds tops. Um, sometimes uh, they'll just kind of wander back and, back and forth, and they can be spawning. Oh, we got a few more. We were at 10, now we're at 27. So they die pretty quickly, so it's not a great chance you're going to, you know, be down there and see that happen, but go back one more time and see if anything spawned down there. Yeah, there we go. I got some slime. We got a couple big guys. Bang. Yeah, so they'll, they'll have to pick up a couple spawn right here. So they fall in the water eventually to push them in and find out here if they're on the track. Right there. Well, these guys are 2 by 2 and um, 3 by 3 would probably be fine here, but it's easier to do a 4 by 4 just for the water currents. So you might want that to These guys die pretty quickly. That is going to generate a huge amount of slime balls. And now, if I can get in here, if I can get in here, there we go. Yeah, this guy will start unloading. Oops. Oh, he's empty. So he unloads his pick up there. And then these get shot up there in the elevator and little batches. Now this minecart already has been amazingly reliable, even on a server here, or on a multiplayer server. This thing has never stopped once in a couple of weeks of running. Um, I figured it would chunk unloading or logging out, or even server restarts if this thing would get stupid, but it has never once had to have any maintenance to it. Um, I come back every once in a while. Just make sure it all looks good, but so far I've never had to actually touch anything. Um, it's just ran perfectly. So. Uh, so we get a pretty constant stream of slime spawning here. So that's pretty much it for this thing. Um, need some decorating. Started doing a little test there. Not sure I like that, but gotta find some use for granite, right? <laughs> Wanted to see very quickly how many slime balls we got in that short period of time. For those few slimes that spawn, usually it's pretty quick. Um, I can, well, I mean, I have way more slime than we'll probably ever need at this point. So it's just crazy efficient. Yes, yeah, so we were at 28 and now we're at uh, um, 77, so yeah, that's quite a bit. And more coming. And yeah, this is what I've gotten so far from this farm, and I think it's probably about four or five weeks of whenever I'm in the area. I'm getting a constant stream here. I never, all I do is every once in a while I'll just crap these up to get them out of here because I've had it overflow before and have them despawn out there. And that's pretty much it. So, alrighty, well, thank you. Hope that helps. And take care. Bye bye.